Can you charge the Acer Swift 5 via the USB-C port, even though it comes with a barrel connector for power? In this video, we'll answer that question and we'll also have a look at a ton of different options for USB-C charging and see which options work and which options won't work. I am W2Best, I make videos about tech travel and inspiration and if you're new around here, I would be super happy to see you as a subscriber to this channel. That really helps me out a lot and gives you all the new content that I'm going to be putting out in the upcoming weeks and months. The quick answer to the question, can you charge the Acer Swift 5 with USB-C is yes. Even though it comes with a barrel connector for power, you can perfectly fine charge this laptop using the USB-C Thunderbolt port. I have used it with a bunch of different chargers and I had no problem so far to charge with USB-C. But in this video we'll dig a little bit deeper and see exactly which ones of my chargers that are actually gonna work to charge it with and where it starts to fail. We'll try anything from my really powerful laptop USB-C chargers to my a little bit less powerful laptop chargers to my different power banks and then we move on to a few phone chargers and see if they can power the computer. This is the barrel charger that is included with the Acer Swift 5 and we're gonna try charging with this first to see how the computer behaves and how it shows that it's actually charging the battery while it is started. This is a 65 watt charger and it's a decent size on the brick, although this power cable makes it quite a bit heavier than if it would have been a smaller and shorter power cable included with it. When we plug this into the barrel connector, it makes a quick beeping noise to show us that it is actually charging the battery and that the computer is now powered. If you have a look at the screen right now, you can see here in the bottom right corner that it visually shows the battery as being charged by it filling up slowly like this. We see that the computer is charging with the barrel connector. The second charger we want to try out is this one. This is my LV Sun charger and it's a 90 watt charger that I use with my Dell Inspiron 15 7000 and it works perfectly with this computer. It is getting a little bit worn and torn here. As you can see, the cables are starting to stick out a little bit there by the connector. I guess I've been putting it in my bag a little bit too much so far, but there are no exposed wires really here. So I think it's gonna be fine for a while more and then I will have to fix it. Let's try this one with the Acer Swift 5 and USB-C. This one also makes that beeping noise telling you that it's connected to power and if we move over to the screen here we can see that it actually doesn't visually show us that it's charging the battery. This seems a little strange but I was testing this for a while and let it sit for a few minutes and I can confirm that the 90 watt charger from LV Sun actually won't charge the battery on the Acer Swift 5. The next charger we'll try is this. This is my Logilink 60 watt USB-C charger with a Deltaco USB-C to USB-C cable connected to it. Again, we get that little beep showing us that the computer should be charged. And if we move over to the screen, you can see there that the battery is actually being charged right now. So the Loglink 60 watt charger with the USB-C cable works just fine. Next up, we'll try it with my gigantic Eaglo 97 watt hour power bank. This can output 60 watt through USB-C. So it's the same power as the charger that we just tried. So it should theoretically work, but let's double check that it works and how it looks inside the computer. I will be using it with the same Deltaco USB-C to USB-C cable as I used the previous charger with. It makes the same beeping noise and we move over to the screen and we can see that this one also charges the battery just fine. Now we're going to test with my smaller power bank which is from SBS and I bought this specifically 
because it does have that USB-C port, so you can output about 15 watts of charge, which is enough to charge your Nintendo Switch while you are playing a game on it. Let's try if this one works with the Acer Swift 5. Also this time I'm going to be using my Deltaco USB-C to USB-C cable. As you could hear there, it made a significantly different noise, a few double beeps and then this single beep. And when we look at the screen here, we see that it says that it's connected to power, but it doesn't show that it's actually charging. So this is different to the LV Sun 90 watt adapter that gave one single beep, but then didn't seem to be charging the battery. This one gives off three double beeps, and then it shows that it's connected to the electricity net, but it's not charging the battery. Last but not least, I wanted to check out if we can use a Samsung phone charger. It is a fast charger, but it does only work with USB-A, so there's no USB-C on this one. And I will be using the regular USB-A to USB-C cable that is included with the Samsung phones. Let's see if this one works to charge the Acer Swift 5 with. Also here, the computer makes those three double beeping noises and then one single beep. And we move over to the screen and you can see that also here, it doesn't show that it's charging the laptop, although it says that it is connected to power. I tested this for a little bit longer period of time and it is depleting the battery, so it's not being charged while we are using this kind of a bit weaker charger that is to be used with a phone. Last but not least, I wanted to use one of these weaker chargers, put the computer to sleep, and then see if it's taking charge while it is sleeping with one of the weaker chargers. I'm gonna let it sit with this phone charger for about 10-15 minutes and then we'll start it and see if it has been taking any charge during this time. After letting the computer sit for about 10-15 minutes I can conclude that it has not been charging the battery whatsoever using this Samsung phone charger even though it was put to sleep during the time. That's it for this video about USB-C charging for the Acer Swift 5. I hope you enjoyed this content and if you have any other questions regarding charging this laptop with USB-C, please post it in the comments below and I will make sure to answer it as quickly as possible. I am W2Best, I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye.